Hi, I'm John Greaves III and I'm the founder of Garage in Life. One of the strength sports that doesn't quite get the amount of love that it should is Olympic lifting or weightlifting. And that's because it tends to be overshadowed by sports like powerlifting and strongman and even CrossFit. But I know that there are a lot of home gym owners who are curious about the sport of weightlifting and who'd like to get into it. And unfortunately, there's not as much information out there about what sort of bars you need to get, uh, what kind of plates, and things like that to help you get started. So I spoke to Dr. Kristen Lander. Kristen is a former weightlifter who is now a powerlifter, and she was able to give me a lot of good tips about selecting the right barbell, like what to look for, what you want, what you don't want, as well as some information about plates. One thing during this interview, Kristen mentions Lynx, and she's referring to Lynx Barbell, an equipment supplier here in the Atlanta, Georgia area. So I put the link for Lynx in the description for this video, so you guys can click on that and check it out if you want to. Anyway, here's Kristen with her tips on how to select the equipment that you'll need to get started in Olympic weightlifting, and you check it out right after this. Hey, if you want to support our channel, plus grab the perfect finishing touch for your home gym, go ahead and grab one of our 16-ounce laminated vinyl banners from our online store. They are easy to hang and easy to clean with just soap and water, and a great way to show that you represent the Garage Gym lifestyle. Go right there to order yours today. And if, if someone is trying to get into Olympic lifting, yeah. Uh, where would you recommend that they go? I mean, I, I think Rogue has bumpers, but are those bumpers that are good for just CrossFit style? Yeah, Olympic they're good lifting? for, their bumpers okay. are good for Olympic lifting for sure. You have some Pendleys, right? Are they all Pendleys or do you, you have different brands? This one, these ones are Lynx. I got okay. these, these are Lynx out of Atlanta. Um, okay. So my colored kilo plates, I've got two sets of those. Those are Lynx, and then okay. my black ones are all Penley. Um, Lynx also makes bumpers for okay. Olympic lifting. Um, and then, you know, I like I always scour Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace oh, and stuff for stuff like yeah. that too. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I know but the Rogue, people's, go ahead. Rogues are really good. It's just that sometimes um, people are nervous about Craigslist. I mean, I know, Yeah. I mean, after you've been in the home gym community for a long time, you get, you become comfortable with going on Craigslist and going to some sketchy places to meet people in parking lots <laughs> and whatnot to get equipment. Yeah. Um, but yes. yeah, it's like, so what are some things people should be looking at if they're getting like an Olympic barbell? Since the barbells aren't here, just, if you could just tell us like, what are some things you want to look yes. for if you're buying a used Olympic barbell? So if you're buying a used Olympic barbell, you want to make sure that it's not, that it spins. So I have actually a rusted one. I'll show you. This is what you don't want. So okay. this is like my first beater bar. This is like 15 years old. Okay. Um, it's a rogue hybrid bar. Okay. And because I've left it out in, not in the elements, but it, you know, it's humid yeah. in South Carolina. Humid, yeah. it, it literally has no spin. So like this bar has spin. This, okay. there's no spin, like it, it okay. doesn't spin. So, okay. And so for people who don't understand what you mean by spin, you mean like, yeah. like what's the, is the sleeves are spinning? Yes. The sleeves okay. are spinning. And gotcha. so especially in Olympic lifting, you want there to be, um, a lot of spin on the bar. So you gotcha. want that to, to rotate really quickly. So you want it to spin freely and you want it to spin quickly. Gotcha. Um, so that bar would not be good. And like, even the one I'll show you this. So this is just my power bar, my Texas power bar. Like right. it has, it has spin technically, but this still would not be good enough spin for Olympic lifting. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I, I should have brought my Olympic lifting bar. I didn't know you'd be interested in that. I should have brought it in here hey. to see. Well, here's the um, thing for the, I mean, the thing about this channel is that we are not focused on, this is not a knock on anyone else, but a lot of the other home gym channels are focused on a particular style of training because they're focused on the style of training yeah. of the person who owns the channel. So if the person who owns the channel is a CrossFitter, they're going to focus on CrossFit stuff. If the person is into right. like power lifting or power building or whatever, it's going to focus on that. I am more concerned with helping people who are watching no matter what they choose to train in. And I know mm -hmm. that also sometimes people's choice of disciplines changes over time. So yes. we may have some people who are into powerlifting who may want to try Olympic lifting. And I want to make, mm -hmm. as, and this is a great opportunity because I want to make it accessible to them because we, you know, if you're into powerlifting, you have no idea what to look for. 
when yeah. it comes to Olympic lifting stuff. So that was actually, yeah. that was some pure gold information. Everybody watching this, make sure you Good. rewind and go watch it again. Okay. Good. Yeah. And then, and then you really want, you really want bumper plates. If you're going to do yeah. Olympic lifting, you're not metal plates. Gotcha. So, and then in bonus, you can use, the, you can use the kilo bumper plates for powerlifting. All right. Those are some really cool tips from Kristen. I hope that is information that will help you get started if you have an interest in Olympic weightlifting. And if you'd like to see the entire interview that I did with her, including the tour that we did of her awesome shed gym that she has on her property, then just click right there and you'll be able to watch it. Thanks for your support.